solve x plus 2 equals 4, x minus 2 equals 4, and 2x equals 4. We're going to look at each of these equations one at a time, starting with x plus 2 equals 4. Whenever we're trying to solve an equation, our goal is to get the variable alone isolated on one side of the equation. In this case, the variable's x, so our goal is to get x alone. Now, if we look at the left-hand side of the equation, x isn't alone yet. There's something being done to x, and the thing that's being done is 2 is being added to x. Whenever something is being done to the variable, to get the variable alone, we want to do the opposite. The opposite of adding 2 is subtracting 2, so we need to subtract 2 to get x alone. However, with an equation, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side to keep it balanced. So here, we need to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, when we subtract 2, the positive 2 and negative 2 cancel out, because 2 minus 2 is 0, and that leaves us with just x on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, when we perform the subtraction, 4 minus 2 gives us 2, so we end up with x equals 2, and since we have x alone on one side, and we can see here that x is equal to 2, that is our solution, x equals 2. If you want to check that a solution is correct, you can check by plugging it into the original equation and seeing if it makes a true statement. We're going to check all three of these equations just to make sure. Let's look at the original equation x plus 2 equals 4. Well, here our solution was x equals 2, so I'm going to plug in 2 or substitute in 2 for x, and that gives us 2 plus 2 equals 4. If we add 2 plus 2 on the left, 2 plus 2 is 4, so this gives us 4 equals 4, which is a true statement, so we know that we've solved the equation correctly. If we had gone through the process of checking and we got something that wasn't true, like 3 equals 4 or 8 equals 4, that would tell us that we made a mistake and we have to start over. Let's look at the next one, x minus 2 equals 4. Again, our goal is to get x alone on the left-hand side. In this equation, the thing that's happening to x is 2 is being subtracted from x. The opposite of subtracting 2 is adding 2, so we can add 2 to get rid of that negative 2. But just like the last problem, whatever we do to one side of an equation, we have to do to the other side. So we need to add 2 to both sides of this equation. When we do that on the left, we're left with just x, because the negative 2 and positive 2 cancel. And on the right, when we add 4 plus 2, we get 6. So our solution to this equation is x equals 6. Let's check to make sure that that's correct. The original equation was x minus 2 equals 4. If we substitute in 6 for x, that gives us 6 minus 2 equals 4. And if we evaluate the left-hand side, 6 minus 2 gives us 4. And since the left and right-hand sides are equal, we know that this is correct. And so our solution was the correct one. We're going to do one more. Let's look at 2x equals 4. In this case, just like with the others, we want to get x alone. But in this case, the thing that's happening to x is that it's being multiplied by 2. 2x really means 2 times x. Now, the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So we need to divide both sides of this equation by 2 to get the x alone. On the left-hand side, 2x divided by 2 is just x. And on the right-hand side, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our solution here is x equals 2. Let's check this one as well. The original equation was 2x equals 4. We decided that x was 2, so I'm going to substitute in 2 for x. And we know 2x is 2 times x, so this is going to be 2 times 2 on the left. 
And when we multiply 2 times 2, we get 4. And since 4 is equal to 4, we know that this is the correct answer. In each of these problems, the goal was to get x alone. However, the steps that it took to get x alone were different in each problem. In this first problem, we need to subtract 2 from both sides to get rid of the 2 that was being added to x. In the second problem, we had to add 2 to both sides to get rid of the 2 that was being subtracted from x. And in the third one, we had to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of the 2 that was being multiplied by x. So in general, to figure out what to do when you're solving an equation, you need to do the opposite of whatever was being done to x. These equations each only took one step, but we're going to see many examples coming up that take multiple steps, and we'll discuss strategies for solving those.